Craig Batchelor here, Imaginic Technologies, and today's tech tip is how to create a surface from GIS contours. In this session, we will look at a conventional way of making contours using the contours in a surface, and also how to simplify those contours to make a surface approximately a tenth of the size. So let's get started. So in this video, we're going to look at the process of creating a surface from GIS contours. I've got some GIS contours on this drawing. You take a look at these. I've got various. I've got one major, one minor. In this one area, if I right click, I can do select similar. And I'm going to build these as two different surfaces in a new drawing. So if I right click, and go to clipboard, I can copy these in my new drawing. In my home tab, I can come over to paste and I can paste to original coordinates. I've got a little piece in here that I don't need. Okay, so I'm going to do a base compare here. We could build this and we could use the contours from a surface and filter out different pieces and interpolate and do some different things. I'm going to do it two different ways here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a copy of these pieces and I'm going to place it beside it so we can be able to see the comparison between these two surfaces. If I go to my surface, create a surface, we'll call this uh, EG1. I've got a style of contours and triangles. If I expand this out, expand out my EG1, expand out the definition, I'm going to add these contours as contours here. So the best practice is select what you want to add, right click on contours and hit add. I'm going to call this from GIS. And the premise here is I'm never going to stake a curb and gutter on GIS contours, that would be survey, but if I need some supplemental filling areas, this might help me out. But it's got a lot, a lot of detail in here. So what I've got is weed factor, distance of 15 with an angle of 4 degrees. So if I've got a line that's not going to vary more than 4 degrees, it's going to put a point every 15 feet. And that's so how to filter out some of these points. I've got some supplemental distance adding. So if I've got a really, really long line here, which looks like I do not, I could have 10 lines crossed every 100 feet. Minimize flat areas by filling the gaps in the contours, adding points to the flat triangles, and adding points to the flat edges. I can hit OK on that. So let's see if we've got better ways of creating this. I'm going to do a command. This is a, a mat command. It's called Matte Clean. If I select that, I can manually select what I want to filter out. And these have the same amount of nodes as these do over here. So if I hit OK, I've got 61 objects. Zero are filtered out. I can hit Next. What I want to do is I want to do the Simplify Objects. So I've got this set to Simplify Objects. I just hit Add to get it over here. I can set a tolerance range and I can create arcs from these lines. If I hit next and finish, what used to be an incredible amount of information has now turned into some simplified geometry. I could further clean this up a little bit if I don't like the way this kind of jags on here. I could remove a few vertexes just to smooth this out a little bit. So I'll just, maybe I want to make uh, that one into a line. We'll pull this one out. You get the idea. So I can clean up some of this geometry so it's not, it's not so sporadic. Now, I've got incredible long pieces right now where my tins would be really, really long. So I want to take advantage of that add supplemental factor when I create the surface on this. So I'm going to make a new surface. I'm going to call this 
EG2. Again, I'll make it with contours and triangles so we can base compare these. And in my EG2 surface, I'm going to select what I want to add. And this time I'm going to add these as break lines. So these are contours to the elevation. I can say again from GIS. I'm not worried about weed factors because I weeded this with a simplified command. But I will set a supplemental distance factor where if I've got lines that are exceeding 100 feet, it'll put triangles at every 100 feet. That's kind of what my supplemental factor means over here. So I'm going to hit OK on that. So just for a base compare, my original surface over here with the GIS information, if I go to my surface properties, in the statistics, with the 10, I've got 42,662 triangles. And with this new surface, if I go to surface properties, I've pulled that down to 4,400 triangles. So I cut it by a tenth of the size of what it was. So the best way to compare these is if I change this one to information of maybe to intent background and I take this one and change it to one intent design and what I can do is I can hit move and I can just arbitrarily pick a spot here find a similar spot over here you'll see that okay so that did have a lot more points where so this is a little bit less in a few areas but for the most part that's kind of lining up so there you have it uh, we've got ways of cleaning up gis information with an incredible amount of points in the surface we clean it one tenth which is a simple command that concludes today's tech tip. For more information, as always, you can visit imaginet.com or call 1-800-356-9050. Thanks.